Hello and welcome back to just a little bit of formation for us during our time apart. I thought today I would take a little bit of time and talk to some of us who like to be a little more techy and so sometimes people might not have a book of common prayer handy. It's a little unwieldy. I like mine. I have a nice small one. It's easy to carry around and I have a bigger one. Um, but uh, sometimes you just don't have one with you and so there's some other things that you might like to try. And and so I thought I would take out my phone here and I would show you a few things that I use to keep me uh, connected to what's going on in the liturgy. So the first one that I thought I would show you is called lectionarypage.net. And if you go to lectionarypage.net, you'll see it'll have the Episcopal Shield up there at the top, but you'll see that it has a calendar that is clickable. And on that clickable calendar, so for example, I am going to go to Sunday the 14th, which it tells me is the second Sunday after Pentecost, also known as proper six in year A. And you'll see that it has here all of the readings for that particular day, as well well as the collect and you can either read them directly off of this page or it has the ability to download them as a word document so if you'd like to be able to print them out and have them handy and take them with you um, I like that sometimes if I'm going to visit people I print out the collect and the readings and just have them tucked into my pocket so that it's easier to find them and go through them um, so this will have all of the parts in it now something tricky about this is is that in the season after Pentecost, we do actually have a track one and a track two. So if you're looking at the readings that I selected for this uh, weekend, you will see that I started reading on track one. Um, so just uh, if you're following along, track one is, is what my expectation is that we're going to be doing this particular summer. Um, there are also, uh, if you look in there, some lesser feasts and fast commemorations. Those are for uh, thinking of particularly holy people who have made a contribution to society. And so there are some remembrances in there and some dates in there that are in addition to the dates that are already in the Book of Common Prayer for commemoration of the saints. Um, and there are a variety of different resources here but this is basically the same as the Ordo calendar. So if you have the Ordo calendar that we usually get yearly, the, the dates and the readings that are on this calendar are going to be the same as that. So I really, really like that resource. Another resource that I like is it, it comes from the people who publish Forward Movement. So you can see I have it saved right here as an app. It's called Daily Prayer Anytime. Um, in order to get that saved, the website is prayer.forwardmovement.org slash, and I'll put all this in the comments, daily underscore prayer underscore anytime dot php. And so this is what it looks like when you get to it. And what I like about it is it has, has a calendar down here that should automatically set itself to today's date. If it doesn't, give it just a minute for it to load. But once you get there, you can choose what part of the daily office you might like to do. So morning prayer, noon prayer, evening prayer, Compline. Um, so I'm just gonna choose morning prayer right now, but you click get the prayers. And if you go there, it will have the full reading so you don't have to flip through the prayer book and find all the right parts but it will have the full reading including the opening sentences and all of the readings that go with it of the full version of morning prayer so that's something that um, is nice to have handy I particularly like this one for noonday prayer because noonday prayer a lot of times I am on the go and I'm not in a place where it is convenient to have a bunch of different books to look through so being able to pull this up and pull up the noonday prayer for that particular day and do it while I'm taking my lunch break is a nice way to have that. So those are just a couple of techie things that are nice to have access to if you are looking to continue your worship life um, and or maybe grow a new habit while we are continuing to worship apart. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon.